This is the DS7 Crossback, the almost inevitable assault by DS automobiles on the compact SUV hierarchy. You might have seen its global dynamic debut in the news, because it was via a bespoke DS7 Crossback that French President Emmanuel Macron made his way to the Champs-Élysées during his inauguration. We too have experienced this car before, but not on UK soil. As a product of the luxury arm of PSA Group, comprising Peugeot and Citroën, along with DS itself, it's aimed more squarely at the likes of the Range Rover Avoc, Jaguar E-Pace and Audi Q3, rather than your Nissan Qashqais, Sipskis, and Renault Kajars. To help the 7 Crossbacks cause, DS has shoehorned in so many features that it's difficult to know where to start. Alongside semi-autonomous driving programs, night vision and aesthetic elements intended to capture French savoir faire both inside and out, the 7 Crossback is also the first among its peers to use active suspension. The broad idea is that you'll be tempted away from more established rivals by the car's fresh take on combining old-school luxury with the latest technology. Alas, for all the Brigitte-inspired detailing and swivel-eyed LED headlights, this is a familiar product that's built on the same modular platform as the Peugeot 3008 and offers front-wheel drive with a choice of PSA's existing turbocharged diesel and petrol engines. Furthermore, the assertion that the 7 Crossback possesses a unique personality lasts only as long as it takes to realize its general proportions, and particularly its deadpan front-end styling, closely mimic the Audi mentioned earlier. Is it handsome? In a square-jawed fashion, perhaps, but it relies heavily on jewelry in the form of three-dimensional LED lights and plenty of chrome, or gloss black if you go for mid-ranking performance line trim. In terms of hardware, a 9th or state speed automatic gearbox is your only choice if you want the 222bhp 1.6-liter turbocharged petrol engine or the 178bhp 2.0-liter Blue diesel. There's also a 6-speed manual available for the 128bhp 1.5-liter diesel, and, during 2019, a 300bhp plug-in hybrid with 4-wheel drive and an asking price of around £50,000 will arrive.